What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Ultra Indoor Electric Mousetrap. In this review, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this mousetrap, including one thing that I think that you should know before buying. All right guys, so we got this mousetrap. This is actually the second one that we got. I just opened this one up. We have one in the garage right now. I kind of wanted to test it out to see if it actually worked. We have some mice uh, at our house. I wanted to see if it worked, and it does. So if you're here to see a dead mouse, I'm not going to show you a dead mouse because I don't even know if the video will get approved. But I will explain at least how this works, and I do assure you that it actually does work overall. So talking through it a little bit. So the way that this works is basically you place it up against a wall like this. The little mouse will crawl into here, and then it gets into this area right here right? When it gets into that area, uh, there is basically a sensor here on this side and a sensor within. You can't really see it, but a sensor within. And those two sensors combine to basically, when this thing is on, to say, hey, there's something in here and it will uh, send a shock to the mouse between 6,000 to 9,000 volts. I had to look that up. Uh, obviously, this isn't something that you want to mess around with, right? Now, that said, uh, you know, it, like you don't want to mess around with yourself, right? Or you don't want pets to. That said, because there's an infrared in here and also here, right? If a dog or a cat is doing that, right? They're, they're doing that. It's okay. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not something I'd recommend for them. And I would definitely stop them if they, you see them doing that. Uh, but overall, it's a safety thing that's been implemented so that if a cat or a dog is doing this, it's not just going to shock them right away, right? So there's a sensor here and also a sensor on the inside uh, with the idea that, hey, you know, you can stop an animal from reaching in there before any type of shock happens. But in terms of how it actually works, right? So that's like the whole system behind it. All you have to do, um, there are four uh, AA batteries that go into here, right? Uh, you put the AA batteries in, and then basically you see here, this is off right now, and I'll turn it on. You see that green light? That means that this is currently armed, right? So if a little mouse were to come in here and jump into here, six to 9,000 volts would shock it, and that would be the end. Now, what I've found to work really, really well when you actually put this in here, right? So this is essentially the inside of it, okay? So you see if there's this little wall and they crawl around this area. What I like to do is I actually, and the other one that we have, is I will put peanut butter in this area right in the middle. Uh, and when I put it in the middle, they'll basically come in, they'll start feasting on the peanut butter, and then the shock happens, and that's the end of it, right? Um, and I like this design because, you know, like mouse traps and stuff, I mean, I don't, you know, it's a mouse after all, but I kind of feel bad for them because that can take a little while to kill them. This it is instant. Basically, you put this down, uh, and, you know, you put some, some type of bait in there. Like I said, peanut butter for me has worked really well in the other one. You put it in there, you leave it. Uh, overnight or a couple nights, whatever, you go in there and there's just going to be a, you know, stiff as can be a uh, dead rat in there. Uh, and then you can just dump it out or mice or whatever, uh, dump it out and you're good to go. So yeah, overall, super simple to use. And, and one of the things I like too, I mean, you drop this on, it's got magnetic tops to it, right? So it's a magnetic latch right there. So it keeps it safe, keeps it closed, everything like that. Um, so all is good. The one thing to know, well, obviously, again, if your pets are playing around with this, get them away from it. Not to say it's going to go off because they have those built-in sensors, but obviously that's not a good idea. So I feel like that's just common sense. The other thing to know is that, um, and it says it right here, and I think it's important to note, do not expose this portion to water. So don't touch it. Don't mess around with it. That's where the electrical components are. Um, if you're cleaning this or something like that, you got to be real, real careful when you're cleaning it because you really don't want water to be involved um, and you know if you are for some reason cleaning it and everything definitely take the batteries out make sure that you don't shock yourself this thing uh, provides quite a punch uh, it doesn't you know like like I said I haven't shocked myself with it I don't recommend anybody do that uh, because it's six to nine thousand volts so that will really not feel too good so yeah guys overall like it a lot to really like the fact that you know with this you don't have to put poisons around the house or you know even mouse traps which I know some animals will play around with Basically, it's just nice to have something kind of in the corner that will, I'm trying to put this on the wrong way, that will work, uh, you know, kind of passively, if you will. You just set it up and forget it and then just check it every couple days. So, yeah, if you're wondering if this really does work, I've caught, I'm trying to think, I think as of right now, it's been down for three, three weeks and we've caught four mice already um, in this thing. So, Definitely does work. That's why I got another one. We, we definitely have some more and I want to put it on the other side of the garage to capture even more of them. But uh, if you're considering it, I definitely do recommend it.